Hey there guys, so in the previous video uh, we went through the general gist and game plan of finding either equation of tangents or normals to a curve. We even did an example of each. I've decided now to do a separate video on tangents and normals. So in here we're looking at finding equations of tangents. We'll do two or three questions and in the next video we'll look at finding equations of normals. So I'll put a link down below to the introduction video and also a link to the differentiation playlist where this stuff all lives in. So let's crack on. Okay example one. We want to find the tangent to the curve y equals x cubed plus 2x squared minus 7 at the point P which has coordinates 1 minus 4. So first move, differentiate to find the gradient function. So if we differentiate we're going to get well x cubed differentiates to 3x squared and then 2x squared differentiates to 4x and the minus 7 differentiates to 0 so nothing so now we have our gradient function that gives us a general expression for the gradient anywhere on the curve so to find the gradient of the curve at this point we substitute in the x coordinate at that point so if we evaluate the derivative at x equals 1 we're going to get 3 times 1 squared which is 3 plus 4 times 1 which are trying to take is 4 so we're going to get 7. So that tells us the gradient of the curve at point P is 7. So the gradient of the tangent at this point is also 7. So now we know our tangent so far is y equals 7x plus c. So again remember we're using the equation of a straight line y equals mx plus c. So now we need to find the value of c. To do that we substitute in the coordinates at our point. So x is 1 and y is minus 4. So we now say well minus 4 is equal to 7 times 1 which is 7 plus c therefore c is equal to minus 11 and the equation of our tangent is y equals 7x minus 11 Job again for the first example Okay, next up, same job, we want to find the equation of a tangent to the curve y equals x squared times x plus 3 minus 10 at point P which has coordinates 2, 10. So, with this guy we can't differentiate yet because we have brackets. In the second year we will learn a method where we can do things like this straight away but for now we're going to expand the brackets. So if we do that we're going to get y is x cubed uh, plus 3x squared and then we got our minus 10 on the end. Okay so now we got that we can differentiate so we get y dash to x 
If you prefer to use TY by the X notation, feel free to use that. I just prefer dash notation. Okay, so this is going to differentiate to 3x squared plus 6x. So that's our derivative, our gradient function. Now we can find the gradient of the curve at point P by substituting in the x coordinate, which is 2. So we find the value of y dash of x when x is 2, which is going to give us 3 times 2 squared. 2 squared is 4, so we got 12 plus 6 times 2, which is also 12. 3 or 12 plus 12, which is 24. So that is the gradient of the curve at this point P. Uh, so it's also the gradient of the tangent at point P. So now we can start putting together the equation of our tangent. So we know it's y equals 24x plus c. And now we need to find the value of c to do that, substituting our x and y coordinates into this equation to find c. So our coordinates are 2, 10. So y is 10 when x is equal to 2. So we get 10 is equal to 24 times 2, which is 48 plus c. Therefore, c is equal to minus 38. And the equation of our tangent is y equals 24x minus 38. Good times. Okay, slightly trickier one here. We got y equals 1 over x plus x plus 3 at point P to 11 halves. So, first of all, let's rewrite the curve in power form instead of with that fraction in it. So, 1 over x is x to the minus 1. So we got x to the minus 1, add x, add 3. Okay, now let's differentiate. So, y dash of x, it's going to be, well, x to the minus 1 differentiates to minus 1x, if you like. I'm just going to write it as minus x to the minus 2, and then x just differentiates to 1. So it might then be easier to write that back in fraction form. So this is minus 1 over x squared plus 1. Okay. That's our derivative, our gradient function. Now solving the x value to find the gradient at this point. So our x value is 2. So our derivative, when x is 2, is minus 1 over 2 squared. So that's minus a quarter plus one, which is three quarters. So now we know our tangent. Has a gradient of three quarters. So we can say y is three quarters x plus c. And now we want to sum in our x and y coordinates 
the final value of C. So our coordinates were 2 and 11 halves. So y is 11 halves, which is equal to 3 quarters times 2 plus C. So we've got 11 halves is equal to, or well, 3 quarters times 2 is the same as 6 quarters, which is then 3 halves. So then that's plus C. So then we take 3 quarters, sorry, 3 halves away, we get 8 halves is equal to C. So C is equal to 4. So our tangent is Y equals uh, 3 quarters X plus 4. Now you might be asked to write it like that or in a different form like uh, AX plus BY plus C is equal to 0. Depends on the question but that is a perfectly fine equation for our tangent. Okay, I think that'll do for this video. If anyone wants any more of these, let me know down below in the comments. Cheers guys.